There are so many creative ways that you can play with images in mid-journey. You can use them as starting frames for video creation or start blending them directly into your prompts. You can use them as style references to drive your visuals or curate them into mood boards for personalized aesthetics and even pull characters and objects into new scenes. Let's take a look into each of the ways that we can use images to shape our creations in Midjourney. Starting with video. To create a video, drag and drop any image from your computer or from your Midjourney gallery into the starting frame section of the Imagine bar. Add a prompt or leave it blank to auto animate. Choose the motion settings that you'd like to apply to your video generation. Motion low will create more subtle gentle movements, while motion high will create more dramatic and noticeable movements. You can also use your image as an ending frame to create more interesting effects and transitions. Drag and drop it into the ending frame section of the Imagine bar and guide the animation with the prompt. You can also use end frames during extensions. Simply drag and drop a new image into the ending frame section while extending and add to your prompt before you submit. Our clip is now extended and we can see the butterfly land on the bunny's nose and then fly over the ocean as described in our prompt at the end frame extension. You can influence the content, composition, and colors of your mid-journey creations by adding an image into your prompt. To add an image prompt, choose an image with visual elements you'd like to see in your creations. Drag it into the image prompt section of your imagine bar and add a text prompt to describe the final image you'd like to see. Here we've generated a dragon with wings as described in our prompt. However, we can see that flower detail in the wings as influenced by our image. To control how much your image prompt affects the result, you can balance its weight. Add dash dash IW, which stands for image weight, with the value from zero to three at the end of your prompt. Let's lower the image weight to 0.5 and see how it changes the overall look and feel of our image. With the lowered weight, our dragon's wings are now less influenced by the image. You can also combine multiple images together in your image prompt. Let's add one more image reference to our previous prompt. Our results will contain visual elements from both of the images which we've included. And finally, you can even blend images together without using any text prompt at all. Image prompts supply Midjourney with reference content that helps shape the subject matter of your image. Blending images is a really unique way to begin to create new visuals. Another way that you can use images in Midjourney is as style references. Style references let you transfer the aesthetic and style of your image to your new generations. To use an image as a style reference, simply drag and drop it into the style reference section of your Imagine bar. Add your prompt and hit enter. Midjourney will generate new images that are inspired by the style of your reference image. You can even blend multiple styles together by dragging two or more images into the style reference section of the Imagine bar. Your images will blend together like multi-dimensional paint that mixes the colors, textures, medium, and lighting of your source images into your new generations. To control the influences your style references have on your generations, you can use the style weight parameter, dash dash SW, followed by a value between zero and 1000. Increasing the style weight will make the style more pronounced in your generated images. If you're looking for new style inspiration, check out the Style Explorer. Over on the Explore page, click Styles and use the sorting buttons to switch between random and popular styles within the Midjourney community. Use the search bar to find something specific, like a photo or a 3D style that you want to apply to your images. Tap the like icon to save your favorites and use them in future creations. You'll find these by clicking likes in the top left corner. To apply a style directly to your idea, type your prompt into the Imagine bar and click on the Try Style button. Return to the Create tab to see your results. You can easily reuse the style code by clicking on the SREF tag in your prompt. Style references help you develop unique aesthetics that go far beyond what text prompts alone can achieve. If you want to create a more specific vibe or aesthetic for your generations, you can curate images together into a mood board. Over on the mood boards page, click on my first mood board. Upload any images you'd like, add them from a link, or add them directly from your Midjourney gallery. You could start with a few images for a more specific vibe, or even add hundreds for a wider diversity. When you're ready, click the use and prompt button to apply your mood board to your new creations. The unique idea of your mood board will appear in the imagine bar. 
Type your prompt, hit enter, and head back to the create page to see your results. You can also manage your mood board codes from the personalization menu on the right side of your Imagine Bar. Turn personalization on and select a mood board to apply it automatically to all of your prompts. You can even blend multiple mood boards together to create something new. Try pairing your mood boards with different levels of the stylized parameter and see how it influences the results. Images can also be used to help you maintain consistency across characters and objects with Omni references. A detailed text prompt is very helpful with Omni references, so let's choose a character and drag it to the Describe section to discover some keywords we can use in our prompt. Next, I'll drag and drop my character into the Omni reference section of the Imagine Bar. Let's add some details to our prompt and hit Enter. Now we can see our character, shaped by our prompts, beginning to appear in our outputs. We can control the level of influence our Omni reference images have with the OmniWay parameter. The default is set to 100, but you can adjust it with the slider in the Omni reference section or by typing dash dash OW followed by your value at the end of your prompt. Next, let's drop the Omni weight to 25 and change the prompt from a photo to an illustration. Higher Omni reference weights will lead to your reference images having a stronger influence on your generations while lower values from around 25 to 75 will give you more flexibility in your prompting and the style of your final generations. Try experimenting with different types of characters, non-human characters, or even objects, and try it with multiple characters as your reference paired with a nice description. Images are a powerful part of your mid-journey toolkit, as the starting point for videos, as style references, to be used in mood boards or in image prompts, or even drive character consistency. Enjoy exploring new use cases and creative combinations with images in Midjourney. As always, visit our Help Center to discover even more ways to imagine in Midjourney.